What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I, I wanted to kind of inform people. This are these are normally predictions. These are normally things that I try to talk about leading into events. EA did the job for me, and uh, they really left no doubt. So, in terms of will we get the next Mass Effect game, Mass Effect 4, whatever you want to call it, at EA Play Live, EA Play 2021, whatever you want to call it, will that happen? The answer is no. Um, now, look, I, I love conspiracies. I love the idea of, of uh, developers and publishers lying to us and that eventually happens. It does happen. I mean, it, it, it's happened in the past. It doesn't seem to happen as much anymore. It used to happen a whole lot more often. Now, I'm not suggesting that they flat out lied about Mass Effect being there. I believe them. Okay, so that's, that's the first part part of this video is will the game be there no they directly stated that uh, you know Dragon Age and Mass Effect they're working on it they're working very hard on it but they're not talking about it and they made it uh, what I found interesting I know this was a, a while ago this is kind of just to get people up to speed and ready for EA Play Live right when they did it and they announced uh, you know kind of how the presentation how EA Play Live is going to work they worded it in a way where it did suggest that these games weren't going to be there, right? They talked about games coming out soon, not games coming out, even though they're like one, two, three years away. They're not like insanely far. I mean, yes, you could say in the gaming world, two to three years is a long time away, but they're not, you know, they're not like 10 years. They're not not in development, right? But the way they worded it was that the games shown are going to be games coming out soon, either this year or probably next year, not games that come out further. So as soon as I saw that, I was I was like, okay, Dragon Age, Mass Effect, odds are plummeting. And then they took it to Twitter again to set the record even more straight again, saying like they're working hard, but we're not gonna, you know, we're not gonna talk about it. They're not gonna be at the show. So that is disappointing. It's predictable. It's not like I'm like, oh my God, I was so much expecting it. And now it's not gonna happen. No, I mean, look, we got the first look at it back in December at the Game Awards, probably the biggest thing that Jeff Keighley did at this past year's Game Awards. And uh, you, know, you could say, where are they at in terms of development, right? The next time we see Mass Effect, do they do what Dragon Age did? Do they do kind of um, like the sizzle reels, right, where they talk to the developers of at BioWare, right? In Bio, I believe it's BioWare Edmonton, right? Do they go there and talk to them, and they're like, "Yeah, we're hard at work. We're you know we're, we're slaving away over the new game," and they show concept art of like a Quarian or like you know a, like an Asari, and it's like, "Oh my dear God, what does that suggest?" That's kind of what they're doing with Dragon Age. You know, what I mean, they showed the trailer, a teaser trailer. They've shown one other teaser trailer since then still keeping things very secretive very uh, you know behind the scenes and then also just doing those concept art things talking to the people working on it talking about like the ambitious project stuff like that so will they mimic it with Mass Effect I think it's possible and if they copy each other it's very and considering it's also Bioware with Dragon Age as well it's likely maybe that they do that but uh, you know if they want to skip that step which is perfectly fine by me the next thing we would see would be probably a full length trailer you know a two two and a half three minute trailer of us, whether it be cinematic or a blend between cinematic and gameplay, and I just don't think they're there yet. Obviously, right? We don't know necessarily when they started working on it, but I, I mean, late next year, probably at the earliest. So that's kind of the last part of this video, right? Is when will we see something? I don't want to throw out the game awards because once you make a pact with Jeff Keighley, you are bound for life. Okay, that's I got to make that very, very clear. But no, I mean, it really, in terms of opinion like popular opinion it is kind of true right where it's like if you do something with Jeff Keighley if you show the wolf among us too you are now in that lifelong bond with Jeff Keighley where every single Jeff Keighley event there is a, a shot and granted Jeff Keighley does have a history of going back to people that have worked with him before he doesn't exclusively do that in fact he's even talked about that but it's always an option so game awards is that possible still I would say no again I think next year I think next year um, if we don't get Dragon Age of the Game Awards, which I do think uh, there would be a much more high possibility of Dragon Age versus Mass Effect, just because, you know, again, they're different teams, but Mass Effect comes last or comes after, right? I, I, I would assume. Now, I hope that they can get both of these things out relatively quickly without rushing them. No rushing. Don't do a Mass Effect 3, right? We know that game was pretty severely rushed, even though I think, I personally think they pulled off 98% of it. Uh, it was rushed. So, obviously, we don't want that here, but I can imagine next year. I can imagine we see something next year probably second half of next year again you have to you kind of have to weigh your options of like is it worth showing it and you could argue do they announce it too early do they announce dragon age too early if we don't get the next mass effect game for another three to four years you could argue and so like by the time we get the game from when it was announced say it's four years 
is that too long? You know, I mean, you could make that argument. I feel like in some cases it's yes. I mean, it's also been done before. Sony does it quite often. Microsoft does it quite often. It happens. It happens. So I, I don't think it's the worst thing, but maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you only want to announce it in the releases after a year, after two years. Obviously, that's not the way they went. I think just kind of out of reassurance, right, kind of wanting to reassure people, Dragon Age 4 is a real thing. Mass Effect, whatever it's called, but Mass Effect 4 for now is a real thing, right? So I would imagine late next year would be my prediction. But again, just to set the record straight, don't expect it at EA Play live okay let me know what you guys think in the comments below were you ever expecting it where do you expect to see it next what do you expect to see all that stuff let me know as always make sure you guys are subscribed bell icon turn on leave a like if you guys want to follow me over on twitter podcast now 15 is my twitter handle i do plan on covering ea play live i plan on live streaming it hopefully we'll have to see how that all goes but uh i will be covering it quite a bit there'll be updates on twitter there'll be updates over here on this channel as well and of course i'm going to continue to be talking about mass effect quite often over the next eternity i would say thank you for watching and i'll see you all on the next video